And now, the story of the world's most brilliant gem. Naturally occurring silicon carbide. That's what we call moissanite. And believe it or not, we didn't know it existed until 1893 when this man was studying this crater and discovered these crystals. This was a remarkable, extremely rare mineral. And Henry Moisson thought, what if I can recreate these crystals in a lab? He certainly tried, along with a lot of other scientists. But it would be a full century later before researchers here developed and patented a process for creating silicon carbide. And this wasn't just a long sought out breakthrough for gemstones. It also made possible significant advancements in semiconductors, LED lighting, extremely hard drilling tools, and a lot of other stuff. So why is lab-grown moissanite such a big deal? Well, let's start with its brilliance. Moissanite's chemical structure allows it to slow down, bend, and redirect light better than any other gemstones. On the refractive index, it measures a whopping 2.691. And then there's its toughness and durability. On the Mohs scale, it ranks second only to diamond in hardness and scratch resistance. Meaning not only is it a tough gemstone, but one that can stand up to daily wear. And then there's the fire. Fire or dispersion marks a gemstone's ability to split light as it passes through the stone, making a rainbow-like effect. And in this department, moissanite outranks them all. Finally, moissanite requires no mining to reproduce. The crystals are grown in a controlled environment. Their origins are traceable and eco-friendly. They are gemstones that meet the highest environmental standards. And those are the basics of moissanite. Take an even closer look sometime. After all, it's the world's most brilliant gem.